All right, hey YouTube, it's Nate. I'm gonna do a short video on this device here. This is a motor saver, and uh, I'm gonna just explain why you would use one, uh, what their application is, what you could do with it, and uh, a little bit more about it. Okay, so this is a model 350, and it's for voltages between 380 and 480. And what you use this for, it's pretty simple. You would take three lines in, and this is three phase, so you're going to have line three, line two, and line one. Um, it could be black, red, blue, or brown, orange, yellow. And it is phase specific. So, what I mean by that is when you install this, if it's incorrect, this little light right here will blink red. So what you do is you'll turn the power back off and you'll switch any two lines, just maybe three and one, or one and two, it doesn't really matter. Just switch two, make sure the power is off when you do this. And then if you get it right, then this light will stay green, solid green. Okay, then over here, you will adjust this voltage. So what you'll do is you'll take your meter and check the voltage. And if your voltage is say 460, then you'll adjust this below 460. So what this thing does is it's pretty easy. It, uh, uh, for instance, in Idaho here, we have problems with surges of electricity. So we may get, uh, we get these things called rolling brownouts. And so what happens is our voltages, they just fluctuate really bad. And that's not a very good thing for pumps and motors and stuff because um, it, it just causes a lot of strain on the system. So instead of your pump running at a really high temperature because the voltage is too low, we use these things called motor savers. And we just simply take your input line in. You'd like, you'd like it if you fused them first because a lot of times you're coming off like a 100 amp breaker with some number 12 wire and you'll want to put it down to a fuse so that the wire is protected. And then run it into there, adjust the voltage down below whatever the actual voltage is. Uh, and then you're just going to break the control circuit. So you'll go to, say, the edge of the contactor. Uh, we talked about, in another video, a little ice cube relay. Um, if you just break that one of those controls, right there you have a, A2. If you just take A2 off of there, stick it on the common, and then off of this side come off and land it back onto A2 again and what that'll give you is it'll break your circuit based on this and that's pretty much it okay so we just explained on how to hook up this motor saver uh, there's one thing else there's another type of motor saver that has a delay if you have that type the reason for the delay so it may have like a, a time delay on it. So when it sees the voltage at the top, if the voltage is correct and everything's good to go and it's the right voltage, it'll wait whatever the time is set for before it makes these contacts go. And the reason for that is, let's say you have a power outage and you have a big deep well pump. And what you don't wanna do is say the power goes out and then the power comes back on again in about 20 seconds, your pump will just turn on again. And the problem with that is when those big deep wells turn off, they do a thing called a backspin where all of the pressure and all the water goes back down through the shaft and it causes that motor to run in reverse. And so if that, if that delay is not on there, then what'll happen is this thing will say, well, it's time to turn voltage back on again. It'll close the contact, it'll turn the motor on and the motor's running backwards right now and it'll spin the shaft right off of that thing, snap it and send it down into the hole. So uh, it could be very costly. So if you have a motor, I would suggest getting a motor saver with voltage control for protection of the utility company and a, I believe it's like right here, maybe it's over here, it doesn't really matter, um, a delay timer. Uh, those are really, really good, good to have. So it's just an added little protection. This device, um, they're about, uh, about 150 bucks, but if you're um, protecting a $15,000 motor, I think it's well worth its investment. Um, if you like this video, uh, like, share, subscribe, 
Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, rude comments, they're all welcome. I don't really care. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.